Good evening folks and welcome to Alien Addict. Now, this is my plan for the channel. In a moment. But first of all, let me tell you about something that I've set up and I said I'd never do it. I said I would never do it. I said I would never do it. But I did it. I set up a Patreon because... I just think I'm a greedy bastard. And, you know, I, I, I need $2, $5, $10, whatever you can spare. I need it. You know, I've got, um, like, I need to buy shit like this. That don't work. You see? It don't work. I need to buy another one of those. Um, exactly. Also, you know, the limbs of... These little guys here, um, they are getting a bit flimsy because of all the movement that I keep giving them. Um, so I need to buy some more of them. Some I've got spare limbs, but I need more. Um, so if you want to keep these guys in, um, also, um, I think one of them is pregnant because I've just seen it lying about. It's It was dead there, so... That's that. Now, yeah, I, on a more serious note, I set up a Patreon account. You know, don't don't unsubscribe and say you're just like all the rest of them, you absolute bastard. The, the point is, guys, you want me to make videos, then I, I need your money. It's as simple as that. Because I have to go to work 40 hours a week. Sometimes more. Just, you know, just to kind of keep keep my children uh, in a cage uh, and to keep my wife from beating me. Um, this is why I have a Patreon. That and it will extremely help the channel out. It will, at some point, it will be straight away, but at some point it may take me away completely from the day job or to do less hours in the day in the day job and just to do this so I can concentrate on this channel concentrate on interviewing people concentrate on you guys and that's what it's about for me cuz I want to do this it's just life gets in the way of of YouTube you know I have to put these silly effects I mean I mean black and white well it's not I, it's actually it's a special color I've, I've mixed together it's a hint of blue hint of green with black and white um but yeah i need to uh kind of like update things i need to get a better computer for a start this is what about i've been in this house 10 years i think the computer is about seven years old it's just it's just wearing a little bit but anyway the plan for the channel long term is that I want to get more and more people on for interviews. Now, I've had Osvaldo Franco on quite a few times. He's going to be kind of a permanent fixture. The guy knows his shit. I like that. Um, I'm going to get other guests on. I've got Richard Giordano from Goof on Radio coming on soon. It's just the times are so bad for me and him, you know. I want to get third phase of moon. So third phase of moon, if you are watching this, I would like to get you on. Don't worry. Um, this, this is not to get you on just to kind of like ask you um, awkward questions. You know, have, did you ever fake anything or anything like that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, and uh, I, I really would like to interview like Secure Team 10. I think that would be kind of a very interesting interview because of our history. Now, on the serious side of it, my long-term goal, and it's a big goal for me, this. I would love to interview Tom DeLong. Anybody from To The Stars Academy would be an absolute pleasure to interview. Um, I would like to get people on like, um, oh, you know what my dream would be? And this is the dream for me, because one of my best friends has always said to me, why... I'm not watching your channel until you do a video on Travis Walton. I've requested it, and I've requested it. 
and you never do. Ever. Now, that would be the dream to in, in, introduce, interview Travis on this channel. Travis, I know, I know you're like one of the biggest uh, fans of the of the channel. Um, you can come clean, you know. If you would like me to interview you, drop me an email. It will happen. I will. It would be a pleasure. But anyway, guys, I want comments below. I want ideas from you how I can grow this channel. I'm not bothered. Listen, if you don't support the channel Patreon wise, that's fine. I've been doing fine without it. You know, I earn okay money. I just eventually want to come away. I shouldn't really said the Patreon thing at the beginning of the video, but I kind of got a little bit excited because I've spent some time doing it this morning. But what I'm after long term is just to kind of like grow this channel it's it's come from being this like weird little mars anomaly moon anomaly talking about stuff that's anonymous channel to me starting to become into my own a friend said to me today you need to change your logo you need to make it look more like you and i'm like what it's an alien channel why would a picture of my face represent if you think i should change the channel to a picture of my face then let me know in the comments but I, I'm, I, I'm wanting ideas it's not that I'm out of content or anything like that but I need to know how to grow this channel now I, I, I want to know what you want and I know what some of you may say oh you need to start uploading every couple of days because you know that's the only way to grow a channel on youtube i don't know if you talk like that but it sounds in the comments like you talk like that it's it's impossible you try having two children go to work come home cook tea i don't always cook tea sometimes the wife cooks tea in fact most of the time she cooks tea i'm sorry if you're watching this wife um yeah, it's kind of, it, it's all draining. It's all draining. You know, I've got a one-year-old and a, a three-year-old. And if any of you have kids out there and remember when they're at that sort of age, it's very hard to kind of like do much other than children's stuff. And then once you've done the children's stuff, you're absolutely buggered. And you just kind of like get on the sofa and you'll fall asleep. You know I used to, oh dear me, I used to like to have the odd little game of something, which is why I'm doing, I did the gaming streaming, if you want me to do some more gaming streaming, I will do, but I don't really want to turn it into a gaming channel, uh, it's just, I've kind of like the VR stuff, and I think if, you, if I'm in VR, and I can talk to you guys about kind of, like, I did the moon video, for example, I really enjoyed that, I've just invested in a new headset, for that kind of thing, this little beauty, um, a Sennheiser, it was reduced, I got it really cheap, it was £139, it was meant to be 200 and something, uh, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that purchase, but that is for the channel, you know, that is for when, I realised when I listened to the audio of when I was going to the moon, that it sounded a bit shit, so I thought I need to get something if I'm going to do that. Because I want to spend more time with you guys and dedicate myself. Because I think the fact that the growth this channel's had, it, it's great. I just kind of, I need to get that next level now. I need to kind of know this is going somewhere. Because as much as it's a hobby, it takes me away from a lot of things. It takes me away from time with my children. If, I, if I'm doing a big interview, it can take me days to edit that interview. I don't know if you've watched any of the interviews that I've done with people, but that can take days. But I'm sure if you've got this far in the video, you've probably watched all the interviews that I've done because you're a hardcore subscriber, and I appreciate the love and support that you're all giving me. And you know, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be still doing this if it wasn't for you guys. I wear this t-shirt, I've been wearing this t-shirt a while now, and I kind of thought I will start selling t-shirts at some point. But I thought I don't deserve to sell t-shirts because I've not, I'm not giving you enough videos 
but the only way I can do that, I've realized, is to kind of grow this channel, but also I need an income that can take me away from maybe the, the day job to bring me into this channel more. But the t-shirts will come. I will do, I suppose I could just do a tea, I, I, was, I did get some t-shirts designed uh, at one point uh, by a good friend of mine and he does a fantastic job. The only problem was the t-shirts were a bit shit quality and I thought I cannot in all, I couldn't do it. I couldn't send one of you guys one of them t-shirts knowing that it may fall to pieces after a few washes. I, I want to get you something like this, which cost, I think, well, it cost me about, well, it cost my best friend, uh, Stuniverse, uh, I think it must have cost me about £35 to get it done this quality. This has been through many a wash, and it's perfect. Now, I don't know what that them Teespring ones are like. If anybody's bought a T-shirt off Teespring, Spring, whatever it's called, tell me what the quality is like. I may use them to do some designs. But my idea is that I want to get a lot of designs. I actually own a website that I've owned now for about two years. Never done anything with it. One time. Two. I kind of need to... I need to do this more. I need to do the videos more. Get the videos out to you guys. Then I'll feel that I'm worthy of you kind of like buying stuff like t-shirts and fan base stuff. But the ideas that I have, they're all in my head and like I'm ready to just to go with them. And I wish this camera would stop going out of focus. Stop it. I paid good money for you. It was like £89. She looks like she's got one leg. She hasn't. She's actually um, kind of like, there you go. That's better. Right, come on, love. Just See, this is a live movement. You've not seen this before. Normally, do it in takes. She looks like she's kind of like cowering now. Well, she will be. Because I'll place this little bugger on her. We'll just, we'll just pop it. I may cut that. No. I'll just... There you go. She's hiding from the face hooker. Sorry about that. Back to the back to the video. I am a little bit crazy, guys. I've always been a bit of a comedian. I was always the class of the class of the clown. The clown of the class. Um, every report from school was um, Ollie is the the clown class. Uh, the the class clown. Why do I keep saying clown class? I'm the class clown. And I went, I went to, I went to college after school. Same thing, same thing. So then I realised I needed to get, you know, just into the real world and get out and earn some money. So I did that, and I earned good money, you know. Um, put a, got my own house, car, um, wife that I paid for as well, and uh, two children. I did not pay for the wife. I'm sorry, wife. I just, I just can't help it. I need to stop. But anyway, you, I hope you get the point because I rant. I do very much rant on and on. And I think maybe I'm probably too much of a comedian for this. Um, I'm going to call it a business because it very much is a business, UFOlogy. It's, it is, I hope you all realise that. It's not just about disclosure and this, that and the other. People are running business off, off of this and they've been doing it for a long time now. And, you know... If I'm going to get a piece of that pie, because let's face it, I, I, I want to do this, but I need to earn money to do this. This is the passion. This is the the long-term uh, vision for me, this channel. And it's never died. And I've always, you know, I've made peanuts off the channel. You know, I've probably made as much on this channel to pay for them headphones in all the years that I've been on YouTube. But that's not the point for me. I can see something coming from this. Uh, and I know sometimes you all struggle to understand a word I say because I am a Yorkshire man and I drink Yorkshire tea. But I don't actually, I drink Earl Grey. So if anybody in England that thinks that all people from Yorkshire drink Yorkshire tea, then you're bloody well wrong. I'm an Earl Grey drinker. Yeah. Followed by a gin and tonic. 
Now, I keep saying now, but I'm going to say it again now. Here's where you can do me a massive favour. If you can't support me on the Patreon, absolutely fine. But if you are a massive fan and you do want to support me, please share my work out because that kind of means more to me than pretty much anything. Uh, a good friend of mine, Gordon Hamilton, he always shares my stuff on Reddit and I think that's fantastic because that's I get views from that. That's what grows me. You guys sharing me out to friends, family, if you think somebody's into this, even sharing me out with other creators, I'm not saying spam them, spam them, please spam them. Uh, but, you know, you could just, you know, have you seen this guy? You know, it might bring people in. I've, I I, can't, I made friends with uh, Tyler from Secure Team 10, by the way. I don't know if any of you knew that because I've kind of, I kept stum about it because there was a certain channel that was, um, you know, kind of making his videos around that and saying, you know, that him, you know, they, 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 were, they were cuddle texting and what have you. And I just think, that's not me. But I, I, I have made peace with the beast. He's not a beast. He's, he's actually a, a decent fella. And, you know, I will, de I will debunk him. You know, if he puts a, f a, a foot out of place, I'll debunk him. He knows this. But I, gen I think he's kind of... He's trying. He's gone through some stressful times. And I know somebody in the chat will go, what's stressful about YouTube and... This, that, and the other. It is. It is stressful. Trying, trying to think about what you got to do for your next video, what you got to do for your next uh, bit of income to come in. I can imagine that being very stressful. You know, the guy, the boys from Third Phase of Moon, I've kind of, I've made a, um, a, a bit of a connection with them as well. They actually gave me some money on a live stream, a few a few live streams actually, when I've done the uh, cooling towers being blown up, which was very cool of them. I spoke to them a few times. I've debunked them quite often. Um, but I think they're nice people. I'm not a hater. I've never been a hater. This has never been... When I debunked, to, when I used to do a lot of debunks, I kind of thought, you know what? I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm just going to go to town on them and then that kind of got my name and then I thought I don't want that I don't want my channel to be about me hating on other channels because then it's just a channel about hate and yeah I like to have a, a bitch and a moan and a grumble and there's people that I'm friends with that hate the people I'm talking about now they hate the big channels they can't stand them oh, I, I, and I see the point I, I do see the point but for me you know, maybe I'm just keeping my enemies close, you know, you know. Do, do, I, do I have a, po a good poker face? No, in all honesty, I am, I'm just a nice guy. I, if you ask any of my friends that meet me, any of my friends that meet me, if you ask any of my friends, if you meet any of my friends, they'll come on the channel and they'll say I'm a nice guy because I've, probably given him some alcohol and said can you you know big me up a little bit but I, I'm not out to hate people and when I when I did those videos and I did a lot of debunks which I have actually unlisted a lot of those videos the videos that were actually making the most views come into the channel I've I've gone and the reason behind that is all I was getting was a lot of hateful comments it's not that I can't take hateful comments Drop a hateful comment down below and you'll see what comes back at you. You know, I will reply. It's just, I don't want to be about that. I want to be about something that is good for you, ufology. What, what got me into this in the first place? I'm ranting on a little bit. And one of the other reasons I was going to do two interviews today, both both the gentlemen are poorly. Rich from Goof on Radio will be coming on the show. He's poorly. Osvaldo Franco and I were going to do an interview this afternoon on To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science and their uh, little bit of a relation with the army that they've got going on. That's coming up when he's better. Because let's face it, I can't discuss that on my own. I, I, I really, if you ask me now what, what I make of it, well, you don't want to know what I make of it. 
uh, right now. I need to speak to somebody else. Where, you know, he's in the know. Um, I am in the know. You know, and I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science. The only problem is with with that is it kind of sometimes you can say something and people think that you are promoting, and I don't want to come across like that. I'd rather do an interview where I can be, you know, just laid back. Have the conversation, listen to somebody else's opinion, and then ask some some of my questions on the back of it. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to the end of this video now because the main thing I want from this video is I want some comments below. I want you to to let me know what you want to do, what I what you what you want me to do. If there's people that you think could come on the channel that you think would be interested to come on the channel. Let them know. Maybe let me know. If there's somebody you want me to interview, I will try and get them on. If you want to come on the channel and you have a very interesting story and you're, you're not trying to pull the wool over my eyes, then by all means come on the channel. Um, and if you are trying to pull the wool over my eyes, then maybe you can still come on the channel and I will just um, rip you a new uh, sphincter. But yes... Anyway, guys, as always, it has been a pleasure. I'm Alien Addict. Now, make sure you subscribe. Most of all, share this video out. Get the thumbs up, even though it's not a UFO or alien video. They are coming up. You know, I'm trying to get these videos out once a week at least. Two, maybe, if I can. I'll get some live streams uh, done, probably in VR, where I can talk to you and you can see me picking up random objects and what have you and if you don't want me to do that then I could just do normal uh, live streams um, and yes I have a Patreon, I will leave the link for the Patreon in the description below so if you want to check it out, check it out if you don't that's absolutely fine but please if you are a big fan and you do want to support me but you can't afford to support, please share my workout, that's all I ask Maybe not share this video out because people will think, who the hell's this guy? But share some of my interviews out that I spend a lot of time on. You know, the stuff that's kind of worth sharing. This is just kind of a message to the subscribers, for the subscribers of the channel. And I always reply to every single one of you. So please, please comment below. Tell me what you want. I'm going to get myself off. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs don't bite. And I'm Alien Addict, as always. Good night.